Good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel for GCS Machinery. Today we are visiting what is apparently the world's largest excavation, excavator auction. Um, I think it's about 940 excavators for auction here over the next um, three days. So, uh, colossal amount of excavators, colossal. So, we're going to see what they've got. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, yourself? I'm not too bad. How's things? Very well, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, very well. And how's life at your auctions? Can't complain. Same thing, different day. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. So, just to give you some idea of the scale of this auction here, it's the world's largest excavator auction ever taken place. Absolutely enormous. Are you alright up there? <laughs> it looks like compo from last of the summer wine. A lot of people have been understanding that auction machinery is what dealers are trying to offload, what um, has got issues, whatever, but there's nothing you can touch. Your auctions are totally different to that because here we actually have brand new diggers as well, also going under the hammer. A Doosan 360LC, brand spanking new, unreserved auction, it's going under the hammer and it will be sold. So the perception that machinery is always, auction is um, a bad quality is not, not always the case. As we said earlier, this is the world's largest excavator auction. It's, it's, it's huge, huge. With your auctions here, they have three rings running um, throughout the, out the day. Two rings where machinery is driven over a ramp, which we'll show you shortly, where um, the vehicles drive past the people and, and, and you bid as they drive past you. Um, so throughout the day, there's this c c constant convoy of vehicles going to the ramp and then returning. Um, a constant convoy, then they're parked back up in rows you can see they're, le le you can see they're coming back in now. These are going to the ramp. The, the dumps at the back are returning, have been sold. Then they're re-lined up again. This is one big game of musical plant. If you're looking for a digger, New, huge, large, small. You find it here. Any size you can imagine is here. So my ex major fleet, the ex owner drivers. Absolutely colossal. You drew 13 ton excavators there. If that's not enough, one or two more of that size. If you make you can possibly think of. 20 ton excavators. And a few more that side too. Now that's quite some animal. It's a Cat 349E. Ex breed and quarry. Um, quite some machine there. Next to that we have what looks like a very similar size, it's a 480 Volvo in black. I know Volvo's always had to like the black arms, but the machine in black or grey is also quite quite smart. And uh, you think they're big? Komatsu PC350, long reach. 
tucked in at the end here is a brand new Doosan DX530, which looks to be sort of almost a demolition spec. I'm not quite sure if it is or not, but it's certainly, uh, that's quite some machine. See where that was made. Made in Korea. No, the only way to look at the plates is some of these machines nowadays, I mean, you can you find JCB th excavators, um, tractor excavators in the UK that was made in India. Um, so, it's a nice machine. If you need to see what that makes, it goes through the auction. All right, we're back at your auctions again today. Uh, we've gone through quite a lot of snow from home on the way here. Um, made driving a bit more interesting. But now we've got to Euros, the sun is shining. So, uh, another day at the office. Let's go and see what we can uh, find to buy. So, there is one continuous line of diggers moving over the ramp. It stretches, it stretches a very, very long way. So the diggers now have been over the ramp. Um, they put several at a time in batches. If they've got the same year, same spec machines, they go in batches. And um, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. The machinery is just going to a big space. It's a common problem, isn't it? A common problem with the Nissan Navara. I'd always heard about it, but I've never seen one, so there you go. Could have the same with it. Unreal. Quite a common problem with the Nissan Navara. If you want, want one for parts, there's the one. There's the one for you. Suits you. Deliveroo. <laughs> GCS delivery service. Bearing around the amount of machines that are on sale here at your auctions, the online marketing that is carried out is absolutely great. Now, every excavator is videoed, um, so you can see it in operation. And there's normally about 25, 30 photographs of each item as in the vehicles. I'm, I'm not talking about digger buckets and, and, and things like that, but of the excavators and dumpers, there's loads of photographs showing tires, tracks, cab, loads of them. Now, if you look at the scale, if there's 4,000 vehicles that go through the auction and everyone's got 25 photographs, that's 100,000 photographs. So I think the scale and the way this auction is put together is absolutely amazing how they do it in such a short period of time. Okay, here are a couple of numbers from this sale. We believe that there was 1,200 excavators sold along with a further 5,200 lots of machinery bringing a total hammer price of around about 59 million pounds, a, a, a colossal sale. And what better time to hold the, the world's largest excavator auction is on the anniversary of Euro Auctions 25, 25th birthday. So congratulations to Euro Auctions and uh, on to the next sale. Thank you for watching this video on the world's largest excavator auction. It's, it's mind blowing to, to see, see the amount of excavators here. So thank you so much for watching. Please click and subscribe um, to like our YouTube channel and more videos will be coming shortly. Uh, so thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.